Hey, Steve, how's it going? So this is going to be our uh, last session uh, that has been scheduled through the government mandate. Uh, how do you feel about that? Um, well, you know, I, I, I saw it coming, so to speak, you know, based on our conversations and, you know, even in our first session, you know, you mentioned that this was going to be limited. So um, I'm feeling okay about it. You know, you, you have helped me uh, hash through a lot of things and I really am grateful for, you know, what you've helped me hash through. Um, but I am a little anxious about the future too. Okay. And, and what makes you uh, feel anxious about the future at the moment? Well, I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, seeing my kids is still a big goal for me. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I don't have a job yet, although this week I did, I did look for a job. So I, I began oh, that's great. And the job hunt. So, um, but I'm just kind of anxious about that, you know? Right. Uh, and so going back really quick, how's, uh, tell me more of that about your job hunt. Well, you know, because I have a record now, you know, and, you know, you know, I'm also mandated, I'm not allowed to work near, you know, at any establishment that serves alcohol, you know what I mean, primarily, so I can't go back to bartending. So I I started looking into, you know, some more practical jobs, someone like me, like an ex-offender can, uh, can get. So um, I've actually been looking at, uh, some community centers, maybe get a job at a library. Um, oh, that's great. There's a local recreation center around here. Um, and I think I might be good uh, either um, uh, in their like weight training courses um, or, uh, you know, something along the, those lines, because I do have, when I was in prison, one of the brief tasks I had was uh, organizing and maintaining the weightlifting uh, and the, the workout area uh okay so so yeah so uh that that's where i'm at right now that's great so you already have some experience uh, you could say yeah 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 at least in that that's fantastic uh speaking of you know working with uh some other groups and stuff like that um and you're you you being out of prison i, wa I wanted to recommend to you how you feel about going to a support group for people that are out of prison sort of you know coming back into reality or, I mean, you know, a completely different reality uh, from what it seems for, for those involved. Uh, how, how would you feel about that? You know, that might be something I would be really in, in, interested in because I think a lot of my anxiety, it does stem from, you know, feeling like nobody understands me and nobody gets where I'm at, my position that I'm at. Right. Yeah, that's, I can't imagine, you know, I haven't done any of that stuff before, before I, you know. But I'm sure that there are plenty of people who have, you know, somewhat similar uh, situations that they've been through that I feel like definitely would be good for you to, you know, even relate yourself to some other people and get different points of views about how maybe even how they're dealing with situations and how you can incorporate that into into moving forward. Now, is this something I'm going to have to pay for? Like, is it going to be expensive or? No. So, I mean, there are some that you can pay for, but there are also um, some that are run by um, nonprofits and, and volunteers and such. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then it, I think it'd be really cool. You know, this is just a little, a little idea, if, even in the future, that um, that you could even go back, at, you know, and even maybe run something like that with other people, maybe even help other people out. I feel That's like that'd be a good opportunity for you. Sure. Sure. That's Wow, and then thanks for seeing that in me. Mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> your kids. <laughs> How are, so you're, you're searching for a job. Have you talked to your wife or, I mean, sorry, your, your, um, your baby mama, if you will, have you talked to them about, um, about your situation, how you're, you're looking for work right now and, and where you're at? Yes, I did. My, uh, my, the, the mother of my oldest, um, 
uh, you know, I, I think I mentioned last week, I tried, you know, reaching out to them via email and she did respond to me. And so I've been, I've been having, uh, uh, you know, not every day, but probably two or three times since the last time we spoke, you know, we sent emails back and forth and I did let her know I'm looking for a job. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure she still hates my guts, uh, but she's, she's at least willing to hold her breath to wait for some money. So, so far that relationship is at least better than it has been. That's great. I hope that, you know, that it does continue to, um, to get better, but, um, Well, it looks like our time is running out, uh, but I have, have enjoyed our, all of our sessions. And please, if you have any, you know, if you want to reach out to me, you have my phone number, you have my email. Um, if I can't help you with something or for some reason we can't uh, communicate, I can send you uh, other references and, and people to refer you to that might be able to help you better than I have, uh, depending on your situations. Awesome. That sounds great. Yeah. Well, th thanks again for everything you've done for me, Michael. My pleasure. Do you have any, any last minute questions before we before we head out? No, I don't think so. All right, great. Well, I'll shoot you a, a text message with a, a list of references. Any questions, please, please let me know. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. It was a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.